Tango Quebec, follow the Slingshot Funnel. Follow the Slingshot Funnel, Foxtrot Tango Quebec. Foxtrot Tango Quebec, how do you guys approach? Foxtrot Tango Quebec. Maybe I'll pass him and then climb? Yeah, yeah, alright. Yeah, turn to the right a bit more in case he falls up. My right, yep. clear touch and go. From my right, clear touch and go, Foxtrot Tango, Quebec. Make sure we're entirely past and clear yep. before and we then, do. And then set up the climb. Yeah. Alright. Alright, we are entirely past, hey. Is that enough? Yeah. Alright. Start climbing first. Why is that? Why start climbing first? Because he can't air climb us. Ah, fair enough, alright. Plus we've got a lot of lift. Can he outrun us though? No, but he can't air climb us. Okay, but what I mean is if, we, if we're going level he still can't outrun us, hey. No he can't, he's not that fast, yeah. Alright, well the visibility today is a little bit challenging, yeah, yeah. eh? Once we get out of the basin it'll be alright. Okay. Ready runway left, downwind, departure. November Oscar Romeo, runway left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, November Oscar Romeo. Back for Cara Lima, and through Papa, prospect 1500, in bunk with Echo. November Oscar Romeo, runway left. Runway left, November Oscar Romeo. Let me make sure Papa makes down tower, join final runway 11 left, report established. You can just see the horizon, yeah. Runway 11 left, Lima, and through Papa. Diamond, you turn into Foxtrot at runway right, ready for tickets. Uniform, November Foxtrot, follow the Cherokee upwind, runway right, clear for takeoff. Takeoff, runway right, here's one Foxtrot. Lake down, wind, touch and go. Two in, sling out our 80, copy. Foxtrot, Tango, Quebec, ready upwind. Foxtrot, Tango, Quebec. One, two, four, decimal one. Joke rolling on helicopter. Again, remember uh, Charlie, screw helicopter just from the end of Wollongong CBD, 1300 seconds on that coastal. Next heading is going to be 273.
do the first climb soon after we turn. Second climb when we're well past the dam over there. I'm 2-6. Is that what you have? 2-6. Spotter 265, contact Brisbane Centre, 125 decimal 7, g'day. 125 decimal 7, g'day. Okay, uh, actual time of departure was 2-6, uh, so minus 6 minutes for Bankstown, 2-0, uh, plus 36 minutes is 0-2. Uh, 21 minutes. Oh, excuse me, thank you. Yeah, 21 minutes is 4-7, so ETA 1 is 4-7, and, oh, okay. Engine looks good, full rich. I'm gonna climb to 4,500 now. Okay. And I need to uh, compensate for the climb time as well, which I've forgotten. You're going up to 6.5, so that's 4,000, so that's two minutes of climbing. All stations are up, next trail in, Victor Caravan, approximately three minutes, parachute drop from flight level was only at the Engine altitude radios. What's our next frequency? One two four decimal one, but okay. not yet. We want that at two thirds. Okay. Yep. Orientation. Are we going Orient the right way? Yeah, we're going toward the dam over here, which is the right way. Which side of the dam should we be on? Yeah, which side of the dam should we be on? Uh, the left of the dam. Okay. I've lost my heading. All right, we're at three thousand two hundred. Um, okay, future times. Thank you. Fuel. Cool. All right. So it's two zero from Bankstown, so that's zero five zero two zero five zero, and we had one one eight there. Yep. All right. Five hundred. Now future times. Uh, okay, so we have a seven minute interval. We're going to add uh, one minute for climbing on each. So that's three four and four two. No, did I do that wrong? Yeah. No, that's right because there's no climbing on the last.
accelerating. Here's a very prominent feature so I can pinpoint us when we get there. Uh, Bravo, Lima Echo from Echo number Charlie, we've got you started. Uh, we're going back, Coastal. Uh, but anyway, I know where we are with the dam. Started, thank you very much. Uh, okay, yeah, coming off from the dam. That's this feature here. Just about over it at 3 2. Right of it. Zero Zulu, contact Brisbane Centre 133, decimal zero 05. Good day. 133, Victor, Sierra Zulu. Good morning, people 232, it's flying 5,000, passing 1,200. Alright, so we should be coming up on that soon. 232, heavy departures, good day, identify. Based on where we were, I think we might be a little bit right of, right of track. Right of track. We expect to have the big be the bend in the very large river to our left, a beam, a beam us on the left, almost, uh, with the meander in the, the large meander in the river on our right, and coming up on hills. Seriously, Bravo, send the map for a second. The traffic, yep. uh, for your next leg inbound, give us a call, might be able to get you in. You're also going to have this river, see here? Yeah, that, that's the one I meant, the oh. meander there, okay. on the right, yeah. Off heading now. Alright, well we're coming up on that. And uh, again, we want the bend this direction in the large river with the, me the meander in the small river in this orientation over here. And uh, here's the bend in the large river. Actually, uh, yeah, there's that large branch coming off over there. There's the bend. And the smaller river, I guess, is down in the valley here. I can't, I can't see this one so well. Is this the, uh, the 90 degree turn there? Oops, okay. Drop your wing, have a look. Yeah, thank you. So it's coming around that way, I'm and then going back that way. Yeah. Okay. So that means, how would my map go? All right. Uh, that means we are, we were about right here. Yep. Okay. So we're about right here. I think at time three five. H one zero two one on Delta. So about one mile off course and one minute late. Okay, so that means if we're one mile off course in uh, a third of that, 12 miles, times five is five and 60, so we need seven and a half degrees left. So that is uh, 265. I'm gonna set on here. Starting on the beach is the right, it down. And November yep. Tango Zulu, seven at the water, 1,300, probably 1,500. I'm gonna turn to 265. I'm confident in that. All right, ready? That's the compass, the uh, bog of bringing that down, the new ETA, uh, we were one minute late, so we should be two minutes late at that next one, which means, uh, or three, three minutes late here means, uh, five, two. 
Mike November Charlie, remain clear of Class Charlie SS, Squawk 04, I'm going to climb 415. 0415 and sure that heading's good first Charlie. Okay, never Charlie. Not. Take November Charlie identified there's nothing observed between yourself on Long Bay, from there cleared Bondi 5 northbound, QNH 1021. Right, stay on this frequency for now. Orientation, well we got the big water on our left as we're supposed to. Not time for fuel yet, that's 5-0. I've already written down. Sierra Killer Ramey, good day, cleared 3 miles of flight, so flight level 120. When ready, clear drop and descent. There's no observed traffic and report below. Hey, man, for a second. Singapore 232, clear, drop in the center. We'll go, Sierra Killer, right here. Singapore 232, can we take direct to Kedam, please? Singapore Traffic on the world going through the air, caravan Sierra Kilo, red mail is five minutes past your drop, expect nine canopy shot flight levels overhead of high star point, all traffic in the world going through the area. Sydney approach today, cleared to Camden via Cape Planned Route 8000, QNH 1021. Bravo is cleared to Camden by a Cape Up Land Route 801021. Kilo Romeo, VFR traffic for you, five miles to the southwest of Flagstaff Point, tracking for the point, 2,700 unverified, intentions unknown. Sierra 
Hotel Sierra Killer Emma, was that you inbound to Paul Kemba? Has turned away to the northwest now. Sierra Killer, I'm here. Singapore 232, contact Melbourne Centre 133, decimal 5. Good day. 133, decimal 5, uh, Singapore 232, have a nice day. So at 4-3, we're looking for uh, a Y in the river here. Check on November Charlie, opposite direction. With, uh, this branch coming off of the uh, relatively Check major down. part. 1,000 feet under Got, uh, on that. Wentworth Falls to the right and back of us a little bit. Some cliffs on the right, uh, a beam of us. Um, y goes into a ravine here. And the left fork uh, comes around a big hill. So that's at 4-3. Coming up. Also, power lines cutting through uh, the hill just in front of the cliff face. So, that could be the power lines there. There's the cliff. We're a beam of the cliff now, I think. Uh, where's the river then? The river should be... Cliff's pointing at the river. I think this is probably like the uh, far branch of the river here. There's the Y in the river. Yep, okay, so we're past the Y. Back into the right of us, maybe. Hard to tell from up here. Three miles, I would say. Uh, how, how far is that Y, you think? Yeah, two miles. Two miles. Okay. Back on heading. Back on heading, thank you. All right, two miles. It was uh, about 4-4. Four, four. That would put us about here, 4-4, four, four. basically uh, on track, given that we were to the right of the track before. Um, so I'll keep this heading, which is going to be close. Second November, Charlie, there's 405 traffic. And if it was, maybe we're one minute later, but it's not substantial. I can't tell yeah. enough. So I will call that the same ETA of 5-2. Yeah, two minutes and before the your third time, intention. have a look. Okay, uh, don't wait, wait, don't uh, wait for your third time. Yeah, otherwise that occurs. Well, well, you know, I, uh, be, in the past I've been too early, early, so... Yeah. Okay, I, I was a little bit too late. Alright, your tolerance is two minutes, so... Two minutes beforehand, have a look, work it out, and then look, and you'll find it. If you're on time, you'll see it, otherwise you'll be looking back for it. Okay, so I was a little bit late that time. A little bit late to look. Thank you, today, North Beaches traffic in Sydney, uh, helicopter rescue 201 to Medivac, uh, St. Ives, and we'll be conducting a uh, search and a winch for the next three okay. zero minutes. Not yet fuel time. North Beaches. The fuel time about when we get there. Rescue 201, center copies, and whereabouts is that winch? Sending a bag, trailing Victor 34200, request to flight number 140. Excellent, Victor, via the box, thanks, and 1283. Via the box, 1283, Australian Victor. All traffic on the Bulldogs, CBD area, Travis here, Killer Romeo is in the process of dropping nine canopies on flight levels overhead, flag like stop point. All traffic on the Bulldogs, and the CBD area. So, coming up to that one, we expect the high point with the transmitter tower. Are you uh, operating? River coming in the ravine, the here, like between the hills there, location. and roads coming in uh, toward the transmitter the tower. Location, rescue 201. Rescue 201, Roger.
2nd November, Charlie. The rescue helicopter there operating just to the south of uh, the roof, St. Ives Showground at 1,500 on a uh, uh, winching operation. I copy that. We'll get we'll for that. Okay, we're going to have a Charlie Papa Bravo, descend to maintain 5,000. 5,000, leaving 8,000. Charlie Papa Bravo. Charlie Papa Bravo. Today, killing uh, 435 right 210 passing 1900, climbing 3000. Killing 435 departures identified, cleared direct to quarter, and climbed to flight level 180. Clear direct quarter, climbed to flight level 180, killing 435. Sierra Romeo, I choose those CTI. Sierra Killer Romeo, identification terminates for exchange approved. Sierra Killer Romeo. Sydney Center Bonanza, off. Yeah, Melbourne now. Next is Sydney again. I never leaned. Altitude is right, radio we've changed. Orientation we had right back there. And fuel is at 5-0. Oh 
boy. They're all dirt roads. The higher points over here. By to the left, of course. I also expect Lake Oberon in the distance. That's probably Lake Oberon. Maybe I am further than I think I am. 5-2 now. If I'm lost, I at least know where Lake Oberon is. Damn it, Chenolan Caves, I should be able to find you. I've flown past it, haven't I? Yep. Yeah. Now we found it. Alright, I'm gonna go find it. There's Lake Oberon. So, and it's now 5-7, uh, I'm going to make a very rough estimate, that's what, like 8 miles, 9 miles? Don't do that. Okay, alright. Just do a 180. I do a 180, I can find that lake again if You're I need to. You're within 2 miles of it, put it that way. Alright, I can find... Uh, Your problem was you are looking for a mast, you shouldn't have been. Okay, you, I should, should have been looking for the rivers. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, there's the mast though. I see it now. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> it's so much smaller than I expected. Alright, there's the mast. I can pinpoint with that, but the Chenolan Caves should be just beyond it. It's going to be down there. Uh, Alright, there's the mast. Chenolan Caves is down in the ravine beyond it. Hey. So I'm going to find the damn Chenolan Caves. Keep your speed up. Don't descend. Okay. I was kind of trying to slow down so I had time, but I won't descend. Alright, what else has Denolan Caves got going into it? Oh, the water, which will be down there. Okay, there it is. I see the resort, the, you know, the, the built-up thing down there. Yeah, I've been there. Okay. Right. And you can see the road coming in there. There's only one road. That's the road, okay. You even pointed it out and you, and you totally disregarded it. Well, there's another road here, okay. Yeah, but this is the only one from the east. From the east, okay. All right, fair enough. All right, I found Janolan Caves. You flew, right. Right, you flew right over it. Yep. All okay. right, let's set course from here. All right, so the next one is uh, 192. There's the cave. There's the cave. Just right there. Oh, okay. All right. We're above Janolan Caves, I'm diving. It is 5-4, and I need to go to 192 soon. About 70 degrees east, all right. Echo Whiskey Uniform, flight plan amendment. Echo Whiskey Uniform. Uh, currently overhead J, uh, tracking Sugarloaf Reservoir, Sano's plan, no change of star. You go skin a phone copy. Alright, I'm a little bit past it now, but in a mile, I think. I've uh, too, turned too far though. 20 degrees to the left. bouncing around a lot, but it's more or less correct. Okay, uh, I was there at 5-4, I said. Means uh, plus 8 minutes gives us um, 0 2 one 2, one two. alright. Can I get back up to the right altitude? Engine looks alright. Oh, I got the 
power up, more or less right, altitude where it's six, above 65, orientation. Uh, uh, we got um, like Oberon back in that, that way, although I don't see it at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, I saw this lake before, so Lake Oberon was that way. And I believe that's the right orientation. Uh, where the hell is Janolan Caves? That's the right orientation. Do what we already did. Times is plus six for each segment. So that is uh, zero, zero, oh, 006. All right, this is a fast cycle this time. Is it an I-24 with me? I'm all over the place with the heading. Melbourne the whole way. Thank you, I'll talk to you. Good afternoon, Polly 27, maintaining 6,000. Polly 27, afternoon, and you cleared direct to Albury, maintain 6,000. Albury QH1016. Clear direct to Albury, maintain 6,000, Polly 27. Thanks, afternoon, and uh, while you're there, your HF's uh, primary 13, secondary 88. Zero, zero. We're going to want the Y in the river off to our left, uh, and there's like a 180 almost turn in the river back into the right, in the smaller river, back into the right. Uh, sorry, where have I gone? Here. Uh, and then a Y in the road on your right. But this is the big one I'm looking for. And the big lakes for orientation way off to the left there. On my dam. Big lakes over there. Um, this is probably the Y in the river. And 180 over there, I am not as sure about. I can't see it as very well. But there are roads that we can see here. Um, yeah, Y in the river, go that way and back around. Yeah, so that's it there. See how easy it is with the big feature? Once you know that that thing down there that you can't see is a river, yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, so there's there's the Y there. Here I am now, not on heading again, I think. Oh no, that's more or less right. Um, right now, zero, zero. And I'm relatively far east of that. Or sorry, to the right of that. Um, three miles? What would you say that is to the Y? That too. Two miles. Okay. Two miles to the right of that. Sorry. Two miles to the right of that. What's that uh, rescue 660 position? Rescue 660. Right uh, here. At zero, zero. Maybe, uh, yeah, zero, zero still. Uh, so, below. so we're about one minute early. We are maybe uh, we will call again two miles off course. Uh, three zero. And how far was that? That was in uh, 12 again? Yeah. 2 and 12 is uh, 10 and 60, so we want to go 10 to the right plus another half is 15 to the right, uh, which would be 207. I wasn't holding very steady during that though. Let's try that.
the altitude that we're supposed to be at. I think I said I was one minute early. That means two minutes early at the next one, three minutes early at, the, at that one. That would be 09 and 10 at this one. No, sorry, not that's not right. Uh, one minute early at this one would be 05. One mile off in what, 12? 12, so 5 and 60. Yeah. Oh shit, I doubled that, why did I double that? So yeah. 7 and a half, thank you. That's better. Okay, so minus 5 from what I got, which is 202. Alright, thank you, I would have been pretty far to the right. Yeah. Alright. I don't know why I doubled that. I thought it was a half. Well, I, yeah, I double corrected for that, yeah. Alright. That seven and a half to the right from what I was, which was 192, is about uh, 200. All right, so 200 is what I wanted. Now I've already gone too far to the right for a while. Easy on 824, climb to fly level 410. Climb level 410, easy on flight 24, thank you. And I've lost a whole bunch of altitude while messing that up. Have a look at your altimeter. Oh no, I've gained a whole bunch of altitude while messing that up. <laughs> okay. Take a moment to breathe. And the next one is 05, we said, which is coming up at that point. What's going on here? At that point, we want to bend in the road to our left. We want... Uh, uh, fork in the river to our right, and we want power lines crossing the river to our right, and then the river crossing the road to places. So, uh, and that's at 05, which is now-ish. Alright, so we got roads around here. Uh, where's the river and power lines? Level off. Yeah, thank you. This way, there's another one on our right, a more major one, and there's a fork where the river comes off and the power lines in the river uh, exit. So, two roads. My problem, as usual, is I don't see the river. There's some power lines in a clearing there, and, and other power lines going that way or larger ones. Those might be the ones on the map. Yeah, those are the ones on the map, I think. Uh, so the river should be finding a road crossing the power lines up there. Power lines going left to right. Crosses the power lines back to the road. Okay, well here's a road with bends in it back and forth. That's the one I'm looking for. Bends in it back and forth. So where does it go? I can't see. Oh, there's some water. I see the damn water. Okay, so it's back and forth that way. Uh, I don't know which one that is on the map, but is it crossing these power lines? Where does it cross the power lines? 
Right, there's the water, there's the crossing on the power lines. I'm gonna in sight. Got the right power lines and the right water. If so, it should join up with the road shortly afterward. There's water. Well, it's 1022, contact center 1250. Expect your stuff. Good day. Power lines. 1250, I'm going back to the power line and water crossing. I don't know where I am. All right, here's power lines crossing water. And that, that must be then the road that crosses to the right of, of the uh, power lines crossing the water. Yeah, okay. So it's this power line and this road, I think. How do I confirm that? All right. I'm gonna get my altitude back. Slow down. 27, contact over tower, 12325, identifications terminated. See you later. Okay, so uh, what's my theory? It's the it's part here with uh, this must be Willow Vale down here to the right. Sorry, give me a moment to aviate. Here's the, the water. Crossing the power lines, crossing the road. Road, turn the right way. Power lines, post to turn. Turn right after it crosses, going that way. Foxtrot here, Foxtrot, good day, Squawk 4266, no reported IFR traffic. Alright. 4266, copy, no reported IFR traffic, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Melbourne Centre, New Zealand, uh, 1125, Okay, so I believe that's this crossing. Melbourne Centre, very good afternoon to you. You are identified here. in your star. This is the Warren 7 Alpha arrival. It's possible that I've misidentified it. 400. Water comes around to the road and ends at the road if that's the right road. Oh. I'm having trouble juggling everything. All right. All right. There's the water crossing the power lines. Come around and meet that road over here. My question. Turn in the power lines, we're coming toward the road and the river. Turn in the power lines. With the road and the river. Okay, yes. That is this one. All right. I'm going to get over that kink in the power lines. It is here, if I understand correctly. like one mile off track there. That's the right one. So, 
My heading before was 200. Heading east now. There's a kink in the power lines. I'm going to fly over it and then finish my turn. Say that's one three. How much distance we got the run. Right, so um, that was only about two miles beyond uh, there. Ralga was uh, 12 miles, so about 10 miles, I would say. So that should be five minutes if I've done it right. At 1-8, I'm looking for Taralga, which has roads coming in. Supposedly, it's got a wind farm. Uh, there's Well, this way, but maybe that's not large enough to see. Got a uh, kink in the river that way, then flowing this way with power lines converging off and to the left. But mostly, I think I'm looking for the major roads converging on Taralga. Um, there's this segment of river pointing at it as well, and wind farms if, I, if they're there. Try not to rely on wind farms. That's Taralga over there. There's the roads converging. Uh, where's the water? I need to make myself find this water. There's a road. That's the major road going in from this way, probably, which means we expect the water to the right. We might be over it. There's the water. Is that the water? I see green on the ground. Yeah. And see where it points. the wind farms where they're where we expect them there water there paralleling the road more or less what we expect here so here's Taralga over here road coming in this way uh, looks like another road coming in that way I can't quite see it 
Um, roads joining here, pointing in. That'll be that intersection. All right, there's Taralga. Next is at 55, A055 at 051. And we're not switching to Sydney until halfway. We've got three, uh, two, three segments on the way. One minute to fuel, so I'll just do that now. 76. One, yeah, one hour. Bunch of fuel in my flailing around. Zero five one, all right. set up. All right. Send to A055. Radio, we're switching halfway. Orientation. Uh, what do we want? We want the wind farm behind us, uh, heading toward the, the rougher land. Dot. In front of us. Um, yeah, we want like uh, ravines up ahead of us. Times is plus nine from nineteen. Wait. No, did I do this wrong? Nineteen plus nine, yeah, two eight. Seven.
feature is a uh, huge lake in front of us and to the left. Um, smaller, we expect this uh, turn in the river here. Uh, maybe we can see Bowerl to the right in the distance, but anyway, that should be uh, where civilization is. Um, and we've got the hills and incoming bit on the on the lowland there. The, the river will be down in the ravine. Burn. Okay. It goes up toward the major lake. Can you see that? From here? Yeah. Uh, there's a man. Yeah, it's that. It's that over there. Hey. So oh, we're going up to the bi to the big lake. Yeah. Can we see Bowerl? No, I don't think so. But you can tell there's civilization over there anyway. So it's broadly the right orientation. What else was there? There was uh, a the hill coming in. In the bend. Uniform whiskey, we are presently one five miles to the uh, west of. Can't quite see that from here. Uniform whiskey, the Eric Yonach. Uniform whiskey, the Eric Yonach. That weighs one zero two one. One zero two one. That's fine. Uniform whiskey. Fox Trot, you're now identified verifiable. Currently at nine thousand. Fox Trot, Fox Trot. Fox Trot, Fox Trot. Stations minutes have for Mangalore now available. Uh, we should be pretty much in the middle of this big headland. You should have a little place called Tomac Creek to your left. Yeah. It's an ALA. Is it? Okay. So is there a clearing up here? Sorry, where's that supposed to be? It's supposed to be... Yeah, okay. It's to our left. We should be a beam it. Right now? No, when we were... Oh, when we're there, yeah. So it must be that clearing over there, hey. Yeah. Okay. As you can see what I mean by looking at the big picture. Yeah. Okay. Big headland. River carved out, ALA, we're not there yet, but we're going yeah. to, the picture's starting to The fit. picture's right anyway, uh, like broadly correct. Yeah. Okay. What I don't see is, in the bend in the river, there's supposed to be like a cut into the, um, the high ground, where there's low ground. Maybe it's beyond this hill and I can't see it. Oh no, I guess it's there. There's two hills. Okay. So we're a little bit left, of course, I think. Navigate the Marie area, our craft x rays on climb, clue 5000, up to flight level 150, for parachute off the Maria. Oh, I'm going back to what I was trying to steer. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. This is the cut into the into the uh, hills there. I can see that. When we're a beam, that I'll pinpoint myself. Um, so we're to the left here. Maybe that's two miles, one one and a half miles. Put your pencil on it. Uh, I mean, to this point here. Yeah, put your pencil on it. Oh, where we are. Put, put my pencil where we are. Well, I mean, visually, how far do you think it is? Uh, how far do you think it is to the to the far point in the water? Two oh, miles? Two miles, yeah. Okay, all right. So two miles from the far point in the water. Oh, so we are to the right then. That's five miles, two and a half. Yeah, so we're about here, I would say. Where I put the dot. Sorry, maybe a little bit like here. Uh, no, that's, that's all right. Yeah, that's about here. We're a bit closer to our third, yeah. We're not a bit a closer to what, sorry? We're a little bit to the left of that. Okay, so here maybe. That, that, yeah. Okay, so we're maybe like one mile off track. Yeah. It is 2 a. we're maybe one minute early. Then a rescue 660 position. Not very much. Rescue 660. All right, so we got a pinpoint. Uh, the rescue 660 is operation is normal, operating five We're one mile to the right in uh, whatever, a third of 60. Okay, okay. So that's three and 60. So uh, we need four and a half to the left. Which is, uh, call it five, that's uh, 36. New heading. 36. Which.
compass. I said we were one minute early, so that means we expect uh, another minute, another minute is three minutes early here. So I'll put four, four. Engine looks okay. Altitude, uh, we're still supposed to be at five, five. We'll get down uh, before, before the Oaks. Um, radio, I'm just gonna, well, I'll switch to Sydney when we get to the water up here because we're supposed to be halfway. Um, orientation, well, we got the water up there, which is uh, what we expect. We're supposed to be to the right of the water. I keep turning left anyway. That's broadly correct anyway. We'll find Sydney, thanks down. Uh, The guy's giving me more trouble today. Fuel is at 5-0, which is not yet. yet. Future times, if we're one minute early to that, we should be two minutes early to the next one, and it's just 3-5. That's basically the Oaks. This thing used to want to turn right. Today it wants to turn left, I think. <laughs> Maybe that means I'm, I'm compensating or something. No, it's still right. It's my, it must be me. <laughs> You're compensating subconsciously. Right, so we follow the water all the way to our right. That makes it easy. I mean, not that that's what I'm doing, but that makes it easy to confirm. And then we should have the oaks beyond that. said to our right, but I meant to our left. We're on the right of the water. Three, five. The switch to Sydney now. Seven, seven, Juliet. Well, here's a huge feature we can pinpoint again, just in case. Pinpoint against, just in case. The end of the lake here. Juliet, 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 remain. We're like Park half a mile to the right of it, and it is uh, three two. Remain clear, five Charlie, score zero three zero two. Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Zulu Juliet, identified, verified level. 1,900 Juliet, Zulu Juliet. Chile Zulu Juliet, Roger from Long Reef, contact me on departures frequency 123 decimal zero. Long Reef, departures 1230, Juliet, Zulu Juliet. Helicopter media 2800, which 1100. If I were to request clearance, operate Burwood, not above 1500. Media 28, that's not going to immediately be available due to 16 arrivals, and you'll have to maintain listening watch. We'll see if we can get you in. Yep, I did the. Um, remain clear listening watch. Media 28. Yeah, I did this backwards. My ETA is wrong. It's one minute late, not one minute early. So, this instead of being 47, it should be 50. And instead of uh, subtracting two to this, I should add two. That makes a lot more sense. Nine. Zulu Juliet, departures cleared hub, Scenic 1, QNH 1021. Cleared 
job, take one, sir. H1021, Juliet, two, Juliet. November Romeo Hotel, descend to 4,500. Descending 4,500, November Romeo Hotel. There's the Oaks up there. You need to be at 4,500 past the Oaks. I'll go maybe halfway, halfway there and then start descending. Hey, Kellen, one for one Sierra, heavy departures. Good day, identified, climb via the SID, flightable 280, cancel speed restrictions. Climb by ice ID to flight level 280, comfort speed restriction, exact heading 141. Amos 234, this is Oakdale. Space Control Services Terminal. There is no reported off by Chevy. Contact Cruise Decent 125 Decimal 7, good day. Let's start a cruise decent now. Okay. 5 Decimal 7, Amos 234. Get to 4500 and go over the Oaks that way. Contact Brisbane Center. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 13235, Care Flight 23. Good day, sir. You start flying between A and B, plan your descent, that way you don't do a very rapid descent, because with your passengers, passengers okay, yeah. yeah, with your ears. I don't mind the dive, but maybe they do, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I have to work out what the angle is in terms of, like, how many miles do you need to descend a thousand feet? Well, I know your first descent. Uh, it's a thousand feet a minute. Well, it's not, but if it were a thousand feet a minute, that would be one minute, which is uh, two, two miles, right, okay. But you want to plan it on 500 feet a minute? 500 feet a minute, okay, so four miles for a thousand feet, yeah, okay. Okay, is 500 feet a minute like a comfortable rate for people? Yeah, okay. A thousand is it? A thousand is, okay, all right, yeah. Five thousand. And Camden is surfaced to 2,000, so we don't have any trouble with that. Okay. Hey, Callan, one for one, Sierra, turn left, heading Really hazy. Right here. You notice out there it was all right? It was better out there, yeah. You come back to the base and... Very hazy, it's yeah. It's got its own microclimate. It seems like it, hey. November all right, here's 4,500. I'm going to go a little bit under that. Give myself a... Three thousand five hundred. The uh, Richmond Q and H one zero two zero. Sydney Q and H one zero two one. Descending three thousand five hundred. Uh, Sydney Q and H one zero two zero. Uh, Richmond one zero two one. Never mind the hotel. I guess I should go lower. Hey, Callan one four one Sierra. You're I'm now supposed to descend uh, no bar. slowly. Maybe I'll go to 3-5 here. Alright. Start to go to Beaches, Beaver, Flow Plain, November, Tango, Zulu, Scotland Island, 1,500, tracking southeast down for Long Reef, and I'm going to Beaches, Shepard. Yeah, these guys at the Oaks, they park their aeroplanes right next to the runway. Oh. Seems like Might a bad idea. Like I mean, right on the edge. One minute, yeah, it's like if someone goes a bit left of yeah. the line across me. That's no good. Yeah.
Three seven, good day again. Sierra Killer Romeo Zebo and Chill Harbor, passing three thousand nine hundred. Alright. Go over Camden at three five. Or by Camden at three five. Sierra Killer Romeo identified, just missed the level. Say again, please. Passing four thousand one hundred, Sierra Killer Romeo. Sierra Killer Romeo, stand by. Might as well practice leaning it. Killing 264, clear direct to Dipso, climb to flight level 250. Clear direct to Dipso, climb flight level 250, killing 264. Media 28s, you're cleared to operate west of a line, ride bridge, Canterbury race course, not above 1500, QNH 1021. Roger, cleared uh, west of the line, ride bridge, Canterbury race course, not above 1500, 1021, media 28. Good day, XLM Victor 36000, request flight number 140. Excellent Victor identified, remain clear of class Charlie, track via the box and 1283. 1283 via the box, so CPA, XLM Victor. Sierra Kilo Romeo, clear three miles of flags off flight level 120. When you're ready, clear drop on the set. There's no observed traffic and report all below. Clear three miles of flags off flight level 120. We have to be going into a wind here, right? That wasn't on the, on the forecast. X-ray Victor Yankee identified cleared South Harbour sector. There's a 172 on the harbour setting. I feel like we're barely moving. This must be a pretty fast win. Media 28, there's a 737 on an 8 mile final for 16 right. Once that aircraft is clear, the restriction will be relaxed. Media 28. Zulu Juliet, there's a helicopter outbound from Sydney. They'll be on climb to 1,500. Remain right. clear. I'm going to descend again. Put that traffic, Juliet. Don't go into controlled yeah. airspace. This time, full rich. All traffic on the ball is on. CBD Air Cavan Sierra Kilo Romeo is five minutes past your drop. Expect. Nine canopies on flight levels overhead, five star point. And that's a thousand feet per minute, isn't it? All right. November Romeo Hotel, descend to 2,500. Descending 2,500, November Romeo Hotel. Runway 11 left for arrivals and departures. 
Frequency 132 decimal 8. Runway 11 right for circuit training. Frequency 123 decimal 6. Runway 11 center in use. Wind 130 degrees 8 knots. Visibility greater than 10 kilometers. Clouds scattered 3,000 feet. Okay, we've got Foxtrot on the Aedas. Uh, it's runway 11 left, so we're going to expect to report a war farm. Going final for 11 left. Uh, on the landing, maybe we have a wind from the headwind just slightly from the right, eight knots. Engine looks happy, it's full rich at the moment. I will do the transponder. Tower, uniform note for Quebec, Diamond, runway 11 left, ready by crosswind. Uniform November, Quebec Tower, runway left, clear for takeoff. Runway left, clear for takeoff, uniform November, Quebec. Tower of Cherokee, Juliet Delta Charlie is overhead to RN, maintaining 1,200. Uh, inbound with information, Foxtrot. Uh, request circuits um, on arrival. Juliet Delta Charlie. Juliet Delta Charlie, Bankstown Tower, join final runway 11 right, report Oric Farm, frequency 123.6. Final run one right, one two three decimal six, Juliet Delta Charlie. Thanks, that tower, Sling 8880, holding point Charlie, runway one one left, ready, down with the Sling 8880, hold position. Hold position, Sling Tower, Robin India Sierra November is inbound at 2RN, 1,500 feet with information Foxtrot. India Sierra November, Bankstown Tower, join final runway 11 left, report Warwick Farm. Join final for 11 left, report Warwick Farm, India Sierra November. Farm, Juliet Delta Charlie. Juliet Delta Charlie, number one, runway right. No, number one, right. Uh, pressure uh, under carriage fixed, mixture is rich, fuel pump on, fuel selection on. Helicopter yeah, media 28, lift to 1,003. Pressure and contents, Foxtrot. warning light. Good day, report Choppers West. Harness. Choppers West, made it to the gate. Alright, so how far is it from these tall buildings to Warwick Farm? When do I want to descend at 500 feet per minute? Right now. Okay. Juliet Delta Charlie, follow the pits on crosswind, runway right, clear, touch and go. Runway right, looking for traffic, clear, touch and go, Juliet Delta Charlie. Diamond one way one one left ready for cross twenty departure to Pramata. Charlie Golf Tango, runway left, clear for takeoff. 
November, you number two, following uh, each Cherokee on final. Looking for traffic, India 7 November. Media 28 on the ground, November 1. Media 28, get
Sierra November. Traffic is a pits on base for the middle runway. Looking for traffic in Sierra November. Come. Traffic inside, India's here in November. India's here in November. Bank of Tower, we're here in the Oscar at 2RN 1500. You can receive this information, Fox Road in now. Sound tower joint, final runway 1 1 left. Start turning on the vinyl, anticipate the wind a bit more yeah. this time. Yeah. Yeah. Last time you did. I didn't. Can you see November runway left, clear to land? Clear to land, runway left, India's here in November. Hold the nose a bit. Okay. Charlie Romeo, you can backtrack vacate Alpha 2. Available left back. I'm in a headwind, but it might be on a lead in. Yeah. Yeah. Headwind. Right idea, wrong organisation. <laughs> no worries. Headwind. Hot crosswind. Keep the wind slightly down. Yeah, one. Oh, that's better, two, yeah. Three. Cut. Don't break too hard. Yeah. Watch out, you cross from my left, get out. Look at this side here. Yeah. It's nice yeah, it's a very, very, very different, eh? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Glad I'm not doing my initial circuit training today. That'd be interesting. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thanks on ground, Roman India is here in November, is clear of runway left. Uh, request taxi to parking at November. India is here in November, taxi to park. Taxi to parking, India is here in November. Mike Charlie Romeo is clear of runway left, uh, also taxiing to November. Mike Charlie Romeo, taxi November. Taxi November to parking, Mike Charlie Romeo. The wind changed uh, be between those two landings, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. It was a strong crosswind on the first one. Yeah. You were anticipating a right crosswind. I was. Hey. Did the, the, the airplane's the biggest wind sock in the world? I know. I could. I <laughs> felt it at the last minute, but it was too late. That's why I went around. No, yeah. you did the right thing. You did the yeah. Right thing. But um, yeah, because uh, when we turn on the final. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could see it starting to develop from the yeah. left hand side. Yeah. So, but anyway, you went around, and the second time round, you were aiming a bit high. And there was a bit of wind, a bit of crosswind as well, it was just starting to land. Yeah. Mid to late bottom. Yeah, you're right. Head. Once we did the wing, and, it felt a lot it, better. And then it kicked over. Yeah. That's what I said. Just yeah. lay, lay your wing over a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, I need to ignore the wind sock and just feel the plane better. Yeah. Ignore the anus too, apparently. Yeah, it's not always right. <laughs> Alright, how would you appraise your performance today? Uh, I'm happy I eventually figured it out, right? Yeah. I made some I made some mistakes. There were a couple minor things you pointed out, uh, like that you had to intervene, but I don't think any of them was major. I feel like I wouldn't have panicked if I had been by myself. Yeah. But I could have done better. That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your actual flight to Genoa was was bang on. We were right over the top of I it. Just, I just I just looked too late. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And you're okay. So I found, I found Lake Oberon, which which set me straight. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you just have to. Sometimes when you look, you don't see what I see. Of course. And uh, I'm getting better. I've noticed I can see yeah. things a lot better. I, I'm sure I'm still not anywhere yeah. near you, but yeah, you, you take a long time to see I, rivers, which to me are very obvious. But what I'm saying is, uh, in the past, I never saw them until you pointed them out. Today, I saw them eventually <laughs> when I when I looked for a while. Yeah, no, no, it was better. Your clear off cycle was better. Yeah. Uh, Hey, just watch when you're adding times and stuff to you don't get yeah, distance. I, got, right. I have this problem where um, if here's the here's the point we're supposed to be at and here we are, I think of it as early, which is totally backwards. Like um, 
So, yeah. Maybe be on Juliet for Charlie. I gotta, I gotta work on that. Maybe. But I figured it out without you having to say anything, which was good. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I definitely feel like I'm improving, even if I'm not doing it all right. Yeah. I feel happy about that. No, we, we made all the points. Um, yeah. Generally, in K's eyes, you get a lot of commercial pilots to go to, and they miss it. Yeah, okay, all right, good. Uh, I, feel, I feel a little bit better then. Yeah, they, they don't even get the tracking right, yeah. let alone the time. So, okay, fair enough. So yeah. I don't feel too bad that you missed yeah. it. Okay, okay good, good. So, because that's a, that's a prick of a place to find, but it's actually easy because it forces you to use big features going yep. to it. Yep, yep, yep. And that's the reason why I chose that yep. route. Well, if I hadn't been late, maybe I would have found it, but I feel proud of myself that when I when I realized that I had overshot it, I just used the Lake Oberon and it was very clear. Like that's a big feature. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're starting to relate other features to yeah. where you should be, which is good. Yeah. Lake Oberon's a good one. That one's easy to see, and it's got like a, a pointer built in. was your side time? Uh, 400 Zulu, so we got uh, another hour. Cool. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Turning, keep turning, keep turning. Some more, keep turning. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah, there's good. All right. All right, shut down, check. Parking brake is on, lights and pedal switch is off, avionics off, 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 throttle 900. Sound good, throttle 1100. Cut off. Off key out, throttle idle. 